Welcome to Simply Excel. In this video, we're going to take a look at inserting images into your spreadsheets. We're going to look at three simple methods, inserting a screenshot, inserting a screen clipping, and inserting an image from a file. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips. Now let's get on with the tutorial. All of these insert options are available in the Insert tab in the Illustrations section. And our first option we're going to look at is a screenshot. Once I select that, it shows me all the other windows I have open. And all I need to do is click on the one I want to screenshot, and it's inserted a full-size screenshot image into my spreadsheet. Once the image is in my spreadsheet, I can start editing it. You'll see it's taken us into the picture format menu automatically, and we can start doing all the normal actions we can use on pictures in any of the Microsoft Office programs. So things like cropping it, changing the colour, and applying some effects like transparency, for example, if you want to use the image as a watermark behind your data. So, for example, we want to crop this down to size. We can just simply crop it. And once we click off it, we've just got our cropped image and we can drag that around wherever we want to place it in our spreadsheet. So for example, we could put it at the top here and resize it so it fits our sheet nicely. So that's the first way of inserting an image and that was really simple. I just grabbed a screenshot of another window that I had open and then I was able to edit it. The next method we're going to look at is taking a screen clipping. This allows you to select just a small area of another window on your device. Again, we find this in the insert menu under screenshot and it's the screen clipping option. Because I only have my web browser and Excel open, it's automatically taking me to the right window for my screen clipping. If I have multiple programs open, what I could do is select the screen clipping option and then very quickly drop down to my taskbar at the bottom and select the program that I want to take the clipping from. Let's just get a screen grab of this flag. And that's inserted it into our spreadsheet and you can see that we can again drag that around. We can resize it. By using the corners, we keep the aspect ratio correct. And then we could pop it in that cell, for example. Now let's look at how we would insert an image from a file. So if we delete our Olympic rings, come up to the cell where we want the image insert to start. So that's going to be the top left hand corner of where the image gets inserted into our sheet. Come to our insert menu, select pictures. You've got several options here. You can go and look online for pictures. So that's a really useful resource if you don't already have the image that you want. So in this instance, I've got an image saved. So all I need to do is open the location, select the file I want to insert, click insert, and that's put it straight into our spreadsheet, aligned up to the top left of that cell that we had selected. Again, just like with the other images, we can move this, resize it, etc. One thing to note about if you're using images in cells like this flag, there's a few options available for you to change the behavior of the image in the cell. So if we right click on our flag and come to format picture, and then in the format picture menu, we've got the size and properties option. And in the properties, we've got these three options. So the default is it will move with the cells. So for example, if we reordered our table by country rather than by total medals, the flags would move with the countries. We can move it and size it with the cells. At the moment, if we resize our cell, the image stays the same size. So we might want to change the behavior of that. So when we resize our cell, our image resizes with it. Or we can completely separate the image from the cells so it doesn't move with the cells and it stays in place regardless of what happens with the data. Another thing to note about when you're putting images into cells is if you're trying to move it around and line it up, you might find it's a bit difficult to line it up with the exact edges of the cells. However, if you press Alt and then click on it with the mouse and start to move it, you'll see it snap to the grid lines. So it's just helping me align it to the top and side of the cell. So that can be really useful. And then we can just resize it to fill our cell. I hope you found this guide to inserting images into your spreadsheets useful. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching.